Hey guys, we have here our Nest thermostat. In this case, this is here the uh, third generation. And in this video, we have the problem that the thermostat gives us an error code. And that error code is the E79. So if you go to the settings uh, menu and we scroll over to equipment, then we can take a close look at the wiring diagram or at here the uh, detected equipment that the nest was able to find so it finds your cool fan power heat common and again power but you see most of them or many of them are actually grayed out so the only one that is right now in uh, not grayed out is here heat uh, but everything else is grayed out and especially here where the c is that c is marked in red so something is wrong with the setup and if we continue here with the screens then you also see here this e79 uh, wiring report no common no power to common which is c so then let's have a look at the actual wires and we do that by just pulling off the display it's really easy to remove and then we see here that we have the uh, connections to the c and the rc ports and those are connected here in this case by an external power supply so we have that here on the back side relatively close to this unit this may also be someplace else in your living space or in your basement and this in this case this power supply has uh, burned out so it doesn't work anymore and we can double check that by just plugging it into an outlet and then checking here with our voltmeter if we're still getting 24 volts ac so alternating current and in this case uh, the uh, power supply was actually broken so now what we do next is we're going to install a new power supply. In this case, we're just using exactly the same one. So we'll purchase the same model again. And we're going to write, wire this up exactly the same that we found this before. So we're connecting the two wires to C and RC. And then we have here in this case, a bridge between RC and RH. Okay, so then the last step is to plug in our new uh, power supply and we can now check again at the detected equipment and now you can see everything or nothing is grayed out anymore there's no more warning messages and our furnace and our air conditioning work again as expected you can also run here a test if you wanted to uh, but usually uh, if there's no more error messages then everything should be okay all right so this was already it for this video hope you found the information helpful if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below